קהל נכבד לכניסת נשיא המדינה, הקהל מתבקש לעמוד. Ladies and gentlemen, His Excellency, President Mr. Itzhak Herzog and his wife, Michal Herzog, accompanied by the chairperson of the Wolf Foundation Council, Minister of Education, Dr. Ifat Shasha Biton, and acting chairperson of the Wolf Foundation, Professor Dan Shechtman. Welcome to the announcement of the Wolf Prize Laureate for the year 2022. כבוד נשיא המדינה, מר יצחק הרצוג ורעייתו מיכל הרצוג, כבוד שרת החינוך, דוקטור יפעת שאשא ביטון, ממלא מקום יושב ראש מועצת קרן וולף, פרופסור דן שכטמן, יושב ראש חבר הנאמנים של קרן וולף, מר זאב אבלס, חברי מועצת קרן וולף ונאמניה, זוכה פרס וולף שמכבדים אותנו כאן היום, צופים יקרים, קהל נכבד. As a, as a director general of the Wolf Foundation, I am honored to open the 2022 Wolf Prize announcement from the President Residence in Jerusalem. אנו נרגשים להמשיך את מסורת של חלוקת פרס וולף גם בשנתיים של מגפה עולמית. חיים ויצמן, נשיאה הראשון של מדינת ישראל, בעצמו כימאי ומדען פורץ דרך, אמר כך: ידעתי גם ידעתי, כי מעל המדע יש ערכים נשגבים, אשר רק בהם מרפא לנגעי האנושות, ערכי צדק ויושר, שלום ואחווה. פרס וולף משלב בין שניהם, ההישג והערכים, ורואה בהם אחד. We will soon know who the Wolf Prize laureate of this year are. scientists and artists who are groundbreaking in their field, the best of the best. I'm honored to invite the chairperson of the Wolf Foundation Council, Minister of Education, Dr. Ifat Shasha Biton, to open this inspiring event. Honorable President Mr. Itzhak Herzog and his dear wife, Michal Herzog. Acting Chairperson of the Wolf Foundation, Wolf Prize Laureate in Physics, and the Nobel Prize in Chemistry, Professor Dan Schechtman. Chairperson of the Board of Trustees, Mr. Zeev Abeles. Foundation Trustees and Honorable Members of the Wolf Foundation Council, Foundation General Director, Ms. Reut Inon Berman, all distinguished guests. The day of announcement of the Wolf Prize Laureate is a day of celebration for science and art in the state of Israel and around the world. The Wolf Prize has been awarded by the Wolf Foundation for 1444 years to scientists and artists for the unique contribution to humanity and friendly relations among people, regardless of religion, race, gender, or political opinion. By awarding the prize, we salute leaders and pioneers, 
at the top of the field of science and art, who, with their work, contribute to creating a better world for all of us. Jewish tradition, in describe, describing the ability of create and invent, use the image of spring of wisdom. Wolf Prize laureate have the unique ability to divert th the thinking from its usual direction to new and original routes, to discover, invent, and solve, and propel the will of the world forward, to be a fountain of knowledge and wisdom. The discoveries and invention of the Wolf Prize laureates have revolutionized the world of science and changed our lives. Honored guest, as a chairperson of the Wolf Foundation Council, as a minister of education, and mainly as an educator who has been involved in education for many years, a teacher and educator, I believe in education. I believe in excellence. I believe in education for excellence, personal excellence, but also humanitarian excellence. Wolf Prize laureate are not just outstanding researchers and scientists. They are also excellent people with values. Winning the award honors not only their scientific uh, achievement, but also the contribu contribution of those achievements to humanity, for us, for our children and grandchildren, and for future generations. I've read the story of some of the Wolf Prize laureates throughout the years. I have to admit, they represent a beautiful, diverse mosaic of the variety within our society, from all countries and people, from all layers of the population, women and men, each with their life story, each with their life, their odyssey. They are our inspiration. Thanks to talent, thanks to dedication, thanks to courage, thanks to hard work, thanks to their ability to overcome failure, get up and keep fighting toward achieving a goal. Thanks to education, they reach the global forefront of researchers, scientists and artists. Our future is in education. That is the compass. That is the key. Or there is no alternative. Education beginning from the childhood is the key of equal opportunity. We must invest and work for education in science and technology from, all, from an early age for every layer of society. Mainly, we must ensure that all children are able to recognize their personal potential in every field. The State of Israel is proud of the immense impact of the Wolf Prize, an ambassador of excellence in the field of research, science, and the art throughout of the world. I wish to thank the President, Mr. Yitzhak Herzog, for his commitment and partnership with the Wolf Foundation, to thank those that dedicated their time and effort to the foundation. Our warmth, best wishes to the laureates whose name will be announced shortly. Carry on and making a better world for all of us. Thank you. Thank you, Minister of Education, Dr. Shasha Biton. I am honored to invite Professor Dan Schechtman, Acting Chairperson of the Wolf Foundation Council, World Prize Laureate in Physics, and Nobel Prize in Chemistry. Professor Schechtman, please. President of Israel, Israel Herzog, and his wife, 
Michal Herzl, Minister of Education, Dr. Ifat Shasha Beaton, honored guests. <clears throat> Announcing the World Prize laureates is a culmination of a long journey, a journey that lasts for years and sometimes dozens of years, a journey that includes quite a few difficulties, disappointments, not, freak, not infrequently a sense of isolation. Investment in science and research is often only manifested after many years, and even then it takes time for a new idea, invention, or discovery to be recognized. I know a lot about it from my personal experience. I remember well every moment of frustration, but more than that, the moments of hope and persistence. The persistence for the sake of the scientific truth. As scientists, we are measured by original thinking, by creativity, by the ability to innovate, but no less by the perseverance, determination, the dedication, and hard work, and adherence toward a goal. Being awarded the World Prize is a victory for each participant, but it is first and foremost a victory for the science and the arts. Over the years, without the World Prize laureates, science would not be where it is today. Our world needs more and more young people to carry the torch of science and research and march us all toward a better future. We are proud of science and research, proud of scientists and researchers, proud of artists in all fields of creative world. I'd like to thank the President of the State of Israel, Mr. Isaac Herzog, for your work to benefit of science and the arts, for, your shirt, for our shared path, and for opening your home to us this important day. Thank you. Thank you to the President and staff who have been working and helping us to fulfill this vision. Thank you to the members of the jury, committees from around the globe, members of the World Foundation Council. Thank you for the hard and important work that you do. It is very valuable. Thank you to the Foundation Trustees, headed by Mr. Zev Abeles, for the dedication and effort, and to the Director of the Foundation, uh, Mrs. Reut Inon Bergman. The jury committees have worked for months in order to select the list of the 2022 World Prize laureates, and they, all of them, are the best of the best. The committees have examined hundreds, hundreds of candidates, each one a leader in their field. The jury committees did not only review the candidates' professional activities and achievements, but also the extent of the candidates' influence on other scientists, researchers, and artists, as well as their contribution to humanity. And now we announce the laureates. This year, the Wolf Prize will be awarded to 11 laureates from the fields of agriculture, physics, mathematics, chemistry, and architecture. It is my honor to invite Dr. Hanna Canetti, a member of the World Foundation Council, to announce the 2022 Wolf Prize laureates in agriculture. The 2022 Wolf Prize in Agriculture is awarded to Professor Pamela Ronald from the University of California, Davis. Pamela Ronald is awarded the Wolf Prize for pioneering work on disease resistance and environmental stress tolerance in rice. One of the greatest challenges of our time is to feed the world's population with minimal impact on the environment. Pamela Ronald has spent three decades studying rice a staple food for more than half of the world's population. Her discoveries have advanced understanding of fundamental biological processes and enhanced sustainable agriculture and food security. Ronald's team isolated a gene 
that allows rice to survive flooding and increases yield by 60% compared with conventional varieties. Her research facilitated the development of flood-tolerant rice varieties now grown by more than 6 million subsistence farmers in India and Bangladesh, where 4 million tons of rice, enough to feed 30 million people, are lost each year to flooding. Furthermore, Ronald's breakthrough research on plant health and protection has yielded implication for studies on resistance to infectious diseases in both plants and animals. Ronald's lectures and writings established a new paradigm where biotechnologies and organic agricultures are integrated as a base for sustainable farming and as a way of coexistence for environmentalists and technologies. Thank you, Dr. Kanetin. It is now my honor to invite Professor Ehud Kainan, a member of the Wolf Foundation Council, to announce the Wolf Prize laureates in chemistry. The 2022 Wolf Prize in Chemistry is jointly awarded to three scientists. Professor Bonnie Bassler from Princeton University, to Professor Caroline Bertozzi from Stanford University, and to Professor Benjamin Cravat from Scripps Research. Professors Basler, Bertozzi, and Cravat received the 2022 World Prize in Chemistry for their seminal contributions to understanding the chemistry of cellular communication and inventing chemical methodologies to study the role of carbohydrates, lipids, and proteins in such biological processes. <clears throat> Bonnie Bassler is awarded the Wolf Prize for her work elucidating the role of chemical communication between bacteria. Bassler has made important discoveries revealing how quorum sensing is used by bacteria both for virulence and for communicating across a species. <clears throat> Bassler showed that bacteria are multilingual. Her studies are providing insight into intra and interspecies communication, population level cooperation, and the design principles underlying si signal transduction and information processes at the cellular level. These investigations are also leading to synthetic strategies for controlling quorum sensing, and her work has wide-ranging implications for developing novel antimicrobial therapeutics and the next generation antibiotics. Caroline Bertozzi is awarded the Wolf Prize for pioneering bioorthogonal chemistry and understanding glyocalyx and its role both in health and disease, thus allowing for bioimaging, chemoproteomics, and in vivo drug delivery. Bertozzi's research has focused on profiling changes in cell surface glycosylation. She invented the field of bioorthogonal chemistry which allows researchers to chemically modify molecules within living systems without interfering with the native biochemical processes. Her pioneering work has opened up basic drug discovery and therapeutic applications associated with cancer inflammation, bacterial infection, tuberculosis, and most recently, COVID-19. Benjamin Cravat is awarded the Wolf Prize for Develop Activity-Based Protein Profiling 
which has emerged as a powerful and widely used chemical proteomic strategy to characterize enzyme function in native biological systems. He used this approach to characterize numerous enzymes which play critical roles in human biology and disease, including those linked to human cancers, neurological disorders, and the endocannabinoid system, which consists of lipid uh, transmitters involved in appetite regulation, pain sensation, mood, memory, and other physiological processes. Thank you, Professor Kenan. It is now my honor to invite Professor Hagai Netzer, a member of the Wolf Foundation Council, to announce the Wolf Prize laureates in physics. The 2022 Wolf Prize in Physics is jointly awarded to three scientists, Professor Anne Lulier from Lund University and to Paul Korkum from University of Ottawa and to Dr. Ferenc Krauss from Max Planck Institute of Quantum Optics and LMU Munich. Anne Lulier, Paul Korkum and Ferenc Krauss share the 2022 Wolf Prize in Physics for pioneering and novel work in the field of ultra-fast laser science and attosecond physics, and for demonstrating time-resolved imaging of electron motion in atom, molecules, and solids. Each of them make crucial contribution, both to the technical development of attosecond physics and to its application to fundamental physics studies. Attosecond physics deals with light matter interaction where photon pulses as short as one attosecond, which is 10 to the minus 18 seconds, are used to unravel quantum dynamical processes in atom, molecules, solids, and plasma. Anne Lurie is awarded the Wolf Prize for being among the first to experimentally demonstrate high harmonic generation which is the process by which attosecond pulses form and contributed significantly to the development of proper theoretical description of the process. She also performed a number of seminal experiments to improve the understanding of the underlying process and was a key player in the formation of the new attosecond science research field. Paul Korkham is awarded the Wolf Prize for establishing the understanding of high harmonic generation through his semi-classical recollision model that underlies the formation of attosecond pulses. Under the influence of strong laser field, an electron can tunnel ionize from an atomic or molecular potential, accelerate it, and then recombine, emitting eye-holder harmonics. The emitted harmonic spectrum is sensitive to the evolution in time of the atomic or molecular structure, and the so-called high harmonic spectroscopy allowed him to demonstrate the feasibility to image a molecular orbital via a tomographic reconstruction procedure. Ferenc Krauss is awarded a wall prize for showing that the harmonic pulses have duration in the attosecond range. He also contributed to the generation of a few cycle laser pulses and the study of time dependence of numerous atomic and molecular physics processes. Krauss realized the feasibility of experiment with time resolution in the attosecond range. This has allowed the study of photoionization in the time domain and evidence Wigner-like time delay in the photoemission of electrons from atoms or molecules. Thank you very much, <laughs> Professor Nestor. It is my honor to invite Professor Michael Lin, a member of the Wolf Foundation Council, to announce the Wolf Prize laureates in mathematics. The 2022 Wolf Prize in Mathematics is awarded to Professor George Lustig from Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, 
George Lustig is awarded the, the prize for groundbreaking contributions to representation theory and related areas. Professor Lustig is known for his work on representation theory, in particular for the objects closely related to algebraic groups, such as finite reductive groups, Hecke algebras, Piadi groups, quantum groups, and Weil groups. Lustig essentially paved the way for modern representation theory. This has included fundamental new concepts, including character sheaves, the Deligne Lustig varieties, and the Kajdan Lustig polynomials. His work is characterized by a very high degree of originality, an enormous breadth of subject matter, remarkable technical virtuosity, and a great profundity in getting to the heart of the problems involved. His groundbreaking contributions mark him as one of the greatest mathematicians of our time. Thank you, Professor Lin. And now, last but not least, it is my honor to invite architect Anand Rechter, a member of the Wolf Foundation Council, to announce the Wolf Prize Laureate in Architecture for the year 2022. Good evening. The 2022 Wolf Prize in Architecture is jointly awarded to three architects, Professor Elizabeth Diller, from DS&R and Princeton University for her exceptional and influential work connecting architecture to artistic practice engaged in the public domain. And to Professor Momoyo Kaijima from Atelier Bao Wow and ETH Zurich, and Yoshihiro Tsukamoto from Atelier Bao Wow and Tokyo Institute of Technology. Kaijima and Tsukamoto are awarded the Wolf Prize for their work that highlights the importance of archi architecture in its ethnographic and in the inhabitational characteristics in the writings and practice. At a time of considerable world change, when social and cultural values have been questions, questioned, these three are outstanding in challenging norms to advance the field of architecture and its wider influence. Whilst very different in their production, they share a common vital quality of bringing research, pedagogy, and practice into critical influence for the advancement of their field. In doing so, they reveal the degree in which art, science, and engagement with society require values that can be interrogated and challenged as a central part of their contribution. Conscious of the wider effects of architecture, each recipient embodies the idea of collaboration in varied ways, embracing geographic, cultural, methodological, and to be celebrated, excellence through diversity. With their radical architecture visions, they continue to be meaningful influencers on future architectural generations. They have developed the agency to architecture through an expanded field in engaging politics, the city as a base of social action, and the imperative Thank you, Architect Rechter. Congratulations to the laureates. I'm now honored uh, to invite Honorable Minister of Education, Dr. Ifat Shasha Biton, to submit to the State President the uh, rationale behind the jury committee awarded for the Wolf Prize laureates. Please take the stage.
dear friends from all over the world, our dear friend, Minister of Education, Chairperson of the Wolf Foundation Council, Dr. Rifat Shasha Biton, Wolf Foundation Council Acting Chairperson, Nobel Prize Laureate, Professor Dan Schechtman, Trustees, Council Committee, members of the Wolf Foundation, CEO of the Wolf Foundation, Ruti Non Berman, dear friends. For 44 years now, the Wolf Prize has been awarded in Israel to scientists and artists from around the globe whose contributions to humanity have been truly outstanding. I had the, the privilege of meeting Dr. Ricardo Wolf, who established the Wolf Foundation and gave this prize his name. I recall the stunning home which he had and shared with his wife, Francesca, on the beach of Herzliya, north of Tel Aviv. He served as Cuba's ambassador to Israel at the time for over a dozen of years and was a remarkable individual with huge insight. I am therefore delighted the President's residence is hosting this exciting event, which reflects so much of what we have in Israel, value as a society. In one of the Bible's tellings of the story of the creation of the world, God, having created human beings, blessed them and says in Hebrew, Although a blessing, it also reads like a command. God says, instilling with these new creatures, humans, an innate drive, and he says, be fruitful and multiply, and fill the earth and master it. This narrative links being human with our basic drive to change things for the better, to take the given reality of our world not as an intractable truth, but as a starting point for realizing our own visions. It is a description that acknowledges the universal human impulse to become masters of our destiny, to push the boundaries of our imagination and remake the world in the image of our wishes for ourselves and our children. For me, this is the essence of Israel's story and also the story of our evolving world. These recent years in which a global pandemic has brought into question the illusion of separateness have driven home some important truths. That it is the power of collaboration that promises to help us weather even the most powerful storm. That there is unparalleled fertility in the meeting of strong and agile minds and that we must endeavor to solve every problem because few problems are really unsolvable. If there is a willingness to look at the challenges of the hour and to fully bring ourselves to thinking creatively about how to meet them. This year, the Wolf Prize is being awarded to 11 recipients who represent a broad range of fields, interests, and contributions. Each of them demonstrates the exquisite qualities of intellect, curiosity, creativity, and dialogue that has driven humanity forward, we, while each field of study is also concerned with how interaction and points of meeting breed change. From physicists and chemists exploring how light waves meet subatomic particles, to mathematicians studying how algebraic structure act on objects, from architects reimagining the spaces we share, and an agriculturalist exploring sustainable practices. Each of these individuals is a remarkable living testament to human ingenuity, which is constantly redefining the boundaries of what is really possible. My friends, I want to thank the Wolf Foundation for its work over the years, for its own contribution to Israeli society, and of course, congratulate each of these honorable laureates. May we all draw strength and inspiration from your dreams and from your labors, and we be moved to push the boundaries of our own imaginations as we work to make the world a better place. Thank you all very much, and batzlacha.
Thank you, President Herzog, for your warm words. תודה לכם שהייתם איתנו במעמד המרגש הזה. תודה לך, אדוני הנשיא, על שאירחת אותנו במשכנך, וכיבדת אותנו בנוכחותך. תודה לשרת החינוך, דוקטור יפעת שאשא ביטון. תודה לחברי מועצת קרן וולף ולנאמנים. תודה לכל האנשים הרבים אשר פועלים נמרצות ועוזרים לנו בהגשמת חלום חזונה של קרן וולף. Congratulations and have heartfelt good wishes to the new Wolf Prize laureate, Mazel Tov. Thank you.